A combination of fluctuating weather and unexpected scheduling changes have left some vendors and customers of the Sulky Marketplace Farmer's Market seeking a new space. WBK reporter Derek Parham spoke with one of the current vendors to tell us more. In years past, the farmer's market at Soki Marketplace has been a bustling hub of vendors, from farmers to bakers and small craft sales. But recently, remaining vendors say that unexpected changes have driven longtime vendors and customers away. Well, they switched our market from Saturday to Thursday, and just the people's not here. And a lot of the vendors has quit over it. I mean, they've said it wasn't coming back until they put it back on Saturday. For the farmers, Ray shared the marketplace isn't entirely to blame for late harvests and lower sales. Uh, it seems like every time you get uh, your ground ready, it rain and then it's too wet to plant anything then, so you'd have to hold off. But for the most part, the switch from Saturday to Thursday has made the market a ghost town. Citing parking issues coinciding with Saturday events on Circus Square, vendors say that when the days were switched, they saw an immediate impact. And now, those Thursday hours have been limited as well. It's not one over. I mean, people work on Thursday. And everybody that I've talked to says that farmers markets are open on Saturday, not on Thursdays. And so, a lot of them are working. A lot of them, I guess they found other markets to go to. For Ray Farm, lower attendance means lower sales for the produce that the farm is bringing in. I guess we probably lost three quarters of our sales. Sure have. That's, I know, that's quite a bit. <laughs> I quit for two weeks. I didn't come but for two weeks myself. And I decided I'd come on back because I had stuff that started coming in quite a bit. And I thought, well, if I could sell some of it, it'd be all right. The Soki Marketplace Farmer's Market is now open on Thursdays from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Reporting in Bowling Green, Derek Parham, WBKO News. And our Derek Parham said he talked to some other vendors off camera who had similar opinions. He reached out to the Soki Marketplace manager and at this time has not yet heard back.